Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Oh boy. All right. Give an old Cap Mike a workout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today, I am actually fishing my home waters of uh, Tampa Bay, fishing with my good friend, Captain Mike Goodwine. And we're also, we got a special, special guest with us, Camden Gilileo. He is our 2021 winner of our Real Animals Junior Pro Staff Summer Fishing Tournament. So it's gonna be kind of a cool day getting to fish with Captain Mike Goodwine. We've been on the boat a couple times together, never got to fish all day together. And, and then having young Camden with us, I'm really looking forward to this adventure. Hey gang, today I am fishing out of beautiful Tampa Bay, my home waters. My good friend, Captain Mike Goodwine, is taking me and our special guest, Camden Gilileo Fishing. Camden is our Real Animals Junior Pro Staff Tournament winner from 2021. So we're gonna try to put him on some fish, see if he doesn't teach Captain Mike and I a thing or two. We got good weather. I was hoping to get off the beach and do a little kingfish. We had a little breeze, but uh, we're in the back country. What you, think, uh, what you think the good Lord's got in store for us? You know, we had to come back here to, to get out the wind, and we're gonna put my man Cam on some fish today. You ready to catch some fish? <laughs> yep. So we we're gonna target some redfish, beating the bushes, and snook or whatever's gonna bite. So we'll go fish and see what the good Lord gives us, huh? You ready? Yeah. I know I'm ready. Let's see what the good Lord gives us. Yes, sir. You know it's kind of neat. This morning when I when I got to meet Camden and his grandfather at the. Uh, at the dock, you know, we had met at the award ceremony, so I knew this day was coming. And that day he was pretty quiet. And I was hoping maybe, you know, he'd kind of relax into this. We've known that he was gonna be a part of this episode for a long time now. And, you know, poor little Camden, he just, he seemed to be really kind of reserved, real quiet, real laid back. Um, not a whole lot to say for most of the morning, but you could tell as he started to catch fish and get comfortable on the boat, he started to come into his own a little bit, and uh, he sure was a lot of fun to fish with. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Yeah, we picked it up here. What is it? It's a snook. It's coming your way. Oh, it's coming everybody's way. All right, lift your line up. I'm going under you. Oh, never mind. He's going to turn around. All right, I'll go under you. Take a step back. Lift your rod up. Right up. There you go. Oh, hey. Little Tampa Bay snooky early in the morning. Good turn cast, that fish, Cam. Turn that fish upside down and just go to sleep for you and relax. Beautiful thing. You turn them upside down, they'll go to sleep? You know? ever get them, you ever want to get them unhooked good? Mm -hmm. Just turn them upside down, they go right to sleep. All right, we got a new puppy at the house. I'm gonna try that with the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> See if that's gonna work. Here we go, first fish of the morning. Letting Cap Mike play a little bit this morning. I appreciate you there, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. All right, Camden, you're up. It's your turn, it's buddy. It's on you, buddy. Yeah, you, you can kind of tell that young Camden has spent some time on the freshwater because boy, when he got a bite, he went to set the hook like he was Kevin Van Dam himself, buddy. He was, he was laying the wood to that thing. And it, it took us a while to get him to understand that, hey, we're, we're using a cir circle hook, real when you feel. Um, but he finally got dialed in and boy, he, he put on a clinic once he figured it out. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> that a boy. There you go. I think he gut hooked it. You think so? You think so? He's got it deep. That a boy. There we go. Camden is on the board. Oh man, you Atta on boy. the board. That a boy. Some snookalicious for you, huh? What's your biggest snook ever? Uh, you know how do how big do they get? They get real big. Like a hundred pounds almost. No, no. <laughs> depends on who you're fishing with. 
<laughs> I, th I, th might tell you I think it was like 18 pounds. Wow, that was a big one. That was a good one. Boy, I caught it with my dad's cousin. Okay. You know, a couple years back, uh, I was actually with a member of my team on the boat and just kind of threw out the idea of, uh, of a Real Animals Junior Pro Staff, you know, trying to find a way, you know, I feel like I've been so blessed uh, by the fishing industry uh, to be able to do what I do for so many years now, to be radio, TV, everything going so well. Just wanted to find a way to give back and make sure that we were giving the kids an opportunity, enough opportunities to, uh, to be a part of this. And uh, the Real Animals Junior Pro Staff just kind of flew out of my mouth. And uh, one of my great, great teammates, he, he took the ball and kind of ran with it. And within just a couple of weeks, we were up and running and kind of putting this whole Real Animals Junior Pro Staff together. Um, and it, it's probably the one thing in my entire fishing career that, that I might be the most proud of. Uh, just because it seems to really be putting some smiles on some young anglers' faces, you know, kind of pushing these guys to get out there and spend more time on the water, spend more time with their family, less time with their iPad and their computer and their Game Boys and all that stuff. And to me, that's that's what this is all about. So what's the what's the plan here, Cap? All right, we're moving closer in to the mangroves. That tide finally starting to come in. Okay. And as the water get higher, those fish move closer to the mangroves. So it ain't quite to where I want it to be. Um, I like to look at the the roots of the mangroves. If I could see oysters on there, I know it's got to get a little higher. Okay. Once it get over those oysters, it's game on, bro. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'll tell you what. There's there's multiple year classes back here which is good to see, you know? You start catching fish in multiple year classes in the same estuary, and that's really a good sign. That's a sign of a healthy estuary. Come on. What do you think, Camden? Hmm? Yours is way bigger. You're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> you know, it's not very often that you, you see a 10-year-old kid who's quite as skilled an angler as, as Camden is. Uh, you can tell that he spent a lot of time in the water, that he's very passionate about fishing. Uh, he's really into it, does a lot of homework on it. And he spent a lot of time making casts, because I'm telling you, it's, he casts better than about 80% of the men that I know, grown men that have been fishing their whole lives. Camden was, was putting some people to shame today, dropping a dime right on the trees, right where the casts need to be time and time and time again. It was really, really impressive. So what'd you think of uh, year one of the Real Animals Junior Pro Staff there, buddy? Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Did you think you were gonna win it the whole time? Yeah, you knew? Kind of, because when we went out there, because I thought the bass was easy, because we had, Papa had a friend from high school, Ronnie, and his wife got in a really bad car accident, and they gave them like two million dollars or something and he bought a big property with some big ponds and they got pretty big fish big bass okay so papa knew where to take you to get the big ones huh you know that helps that helps well you did a good job i'm glad you had fun you looking forward to this year the new season coming up yeah you gonna try and win it again <laughs> attaboy i think you got a shot <laughs> what'd you like best about it Catching all the fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Catch a lot of fish you did. You did a good job. You know, I, I, I can't say enough good things about Captain Mike Goodwine. Um, you know, he really hasn't been doing this all that long. He's been fishing a long time, but he only started guiding here, you know, I would think five, six years ago. And, and 
He's really, really talented and, and it comes from his passion. He absolutely loves to be on the water. He loves putting people on fish and making memories. And it showed today too, he was working really hard to try to get cammed in a big red fish. And it took us a while. The snook bite was pretty good. We were catching a lot of the, you know, smaller snook kind of one after another. And, you know, the way Mike just kind of patiently stayed after it was really special. And it's one of the reasons that he's so popular here on Florida's West Coast. You know, it was interesting leading up to this this day, you know, Captain Mike and I had been on the phone and kind of talking and he was looking at the tides and right away he said, man, we're gonna have high water. That's gonna put my redfish in the trees. I know we can catch them. Uh, probably gonna be midday. But as I was watching the I was watching the weather as we were getting closer to this day and it was calling for almost slick, calm conditions early in the morning, probably better than half of the day. We were gonna have almost no wind. And, this time of year on the west coast of Florida, it's kingfish season. And you don't get a lot of days without wind. And I thought, man, how great would it be if we could get out there? The kingfish have been running pretty heavy. It'd be great if we had the right conditions to put Camden on a big kingfish today would be awesome. So I shifted gears at the last minute and that's the route we were gonna take until we left the dock this morning. And it's a good thing I've been doing this a long time because I had a funny feeling the weatherman as you know, sometimes he's wrong. And today, it did not lay out first thing in the morning. We had some, some calmer weather midday than what they were calling for, but this morning, it was northwest. There was a pretty good breeze, and that's not the best conditions to be out on the beach. So luckily, I had the redfish and snook rods with us just in case. Captain Mike Goodwine with a great plan. Uh, get in, catch some snook. When that water gets high, those redfish are gonna be on the edges of the trees. and. Everything came together just perfect. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Got a boy. All we had to do is think it. All right. Give, give an old Cap Mike a workout. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get him from under them bushes. You said we were going to be working in bushes. Come on. That high tide. Got a boy. Nice fish. Uh, we'll get him. You ready? Yep. 100%. Oh, get him. oh yeah. Look at that thing. That's a pretty fish. Nice fish. Oh boy. Yeah, ain't no wonder you had trouble getting him out of the bush. That's a stud. I want to almost, almost let he's him go. It. Yeah, he's got it. No, it's right there. Oh, okay. Circle hook did his job. That's pretty tail. Look at the spots on the tail. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a we had a little transition uh, in the morning. You know. The tide was going out first thing while we were catching bait this morning, and we had to wait for that tide to cycle. And we wanted that water to come in. You know, the, the south shore of Tampa Bay is kind of unique. It's, it's an incredible estuary back there, but, um, and you can catch fish there, obviously on low water, uh, as we started our day on low water. But we kind of, Mike and I both kind of knew, when that tide got up and started to cover up the roots of those mangroves, we knew that that's when the bite was going to fire off and we timed it just about right to be in the right spot when that thing fired we, we could put camden on really really good fish got a redfish on one side and a snook on the other you there. Got him? yeah oh nice redfish too <laughs> you better get yeah. up here big red dog big red dog that's a big redfish Spots on them. Oh. Snook. Ooh. Right there on the trees. See the boil? What is that? Yeah, you that it's out. a snook. For us. We got doubles on the snook. <laughs> Camden's having a blast here today. 
The other one's spying me with his back spines on my finger. Yeah, you have that sometimes. Hey gang, this week's Real Animals Tackle Box was really simple. It just turned out to be one rod and reel combo. That's all we ended up using all day. Real Animals Signature Series from Bull Bay Rods. This is the 15 pound. It's a six to 15 pound class rod. Got a good backbone to it. Seven foot, two inches long, not real long, which works out great. Some of the creeks and some of the tight quarters we were fishing in today. We're using 10 pound spider wire ultra cast Invisibraid a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. One of the keys to today was definitely putting that little split shot on just above the two odd circle hook there. Uh, we're using Mutu light circle hooks. That little split shot there, just making it tough for that bait to kind of swim around was really, uh, was really effective today. Not usually something I do here uh, in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, where we slow the baits down, but it's one of Mike, Captain Mike's favorite things to do, and it worked really well for us today. This is the Penn Battle DX3000. The, the drag on this was great today, horsing those redfish out of the trees, all the stuff we needed it to do. This is the only setup you need to do exactly what we did today. Go on out and get you some gear, go catch you some fish. Hey gang, this week's Real Animals Tip of the Week, I want to talk to you about electronics. You know, there's a reason that I choose Raymarine Electronics. Super easy to use, all the tools inside my machine at my disposal that help me catch fish. Side imaging, 3D real vision, just so much great sonar. The transducers are super powerful. Everything connects from my upper station to my lower station big screens, satellite imaging, all the tools I need to do what I do on a daily basis, whether I'm fishing a tournament, running a charter, or filming a show, Raymarine Electronics is the way to go. If you're looking to upgrade your electronics, check out Raymarine today. You know, I'm really looking forward to uh, year two of the Real Animals Junior Pro staff. Again, it's, it's something that we're really, really proud of here at Real Animals. Uh, we've got a great team assembled this year. We've got more young anglers on the team this year than we did last year and and a day like today when it all kind of when the whole thought process of the junior pro staff comes together um, and you get to see it you know Camden the winner of last year's tournament getting him on the show getting to spend the day with him and see how much fun he had how much it meant to him you know it's for me it, it just doesn't get any better than that I've been in this business a long time and you know, the Real Animals Junior Pro Staff, certainly something I'm proud of. And I'm looking forward to many, many years of this and building this Junior Pro Staff into some young, great men and women anglers for our future. There you go. That's a red fish. That's a red. That's a red. Pull it to the left. Pull him, pull him. Get him out the bushes. Go, 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 go. You got him. Come on, come on, pull. Don't grab the line. Whatever you do, don't grab that line. Pull. There you go, real. There you go. Oh boy. <laughs> Pull. There you go. Don't, don't point the rod at him. Just keep that rod tip up. Oh, don't see how you let it get slick in there? Don't let it get slick. He's trying to break my wrist to turn him. Yeah. I just keep that oh, rod that's up. A good one there, kid. Now you want to, don't pull him towards the bushes. Pull him this way. There you go. Pull him right to Mike. We'll get him landed for you, buddy. Which Mike? <laughs> All right, rod tip high. Now rod tip high. There you go. There you go. Stay up there where you were. Go back yeah, where yeah, you yeah. were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up here. That way you can just, all you're doing is pointing the rod tip at me, buddy. I'll get him for you, okay? If he goes under the boat, remember, you got to go down in, in the water with the rod tip. Okay, right, just hold him now. Don't now reel just hold him. Don't reel anymore. Don't grab, don't grab your reel. Don't grab your spool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want that drag to work for you. Wide, wide, wide. There you go. 
He's yeah, that's it. He's mad at you, Cam. He's giving him. us a shower. <laughs> he is giving us. Don't let the line touch the You got it. Another boy. Yeah. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up. This is, this is why we came right here, Camden. Yes, sir. That's awesome. We came to get you one of these. Come on. Yeah, now your hose. Oh, come on. No. I, had you. I know I had him. It was my my bad, Camden. Here he is. That's why there we came, buddy, right there. Come on, give My us some. My man, give me back, yeah. Yeah, you better give Cap Mike go. some love there. there. You go. Nice job, nice hook right in the, <laughs> That's what's up. Right in the yap. Boom! That's a stud, too. Boom! Huh? That is why you come, right here. Mike Goodwine's one of the best on the South Shore of Tampa Bay at doing this right here. Lots of fish and putting smiles on faces. That's what it's all about. Hey, that a boy, huh? How good was that? Huh? Good. I think it's pretty obvious why you won the Real Animals Junior Pro Staff mm -hmm. Tournament. Dropping dimes on your cast all day and then working that fish out of the trees. Huh? You, you, you get it? Oh boy. Nice job. Mike Goodwine. Heck of a job, yeah. my friend. Yes, sir. Nice guiding. Well done, buddy. Well done. Yep.